Uh, we now know that Defence Secretary Lloyd Austin was hospitalised for an infection after what he called elective surgery for prostate cancer. Dr Mark Siegel with us this morning. Is prostate cancer surgery elective, doctor? Well, obviously, Stuart, it, it shouldn't be called elective because it's not like you could wait a year. It's urgent and it's, it, it's, you have to have it as soon as possible if you make a decision to get the prostate out of there because there's cancer. And not all prostate cancer needs surgery, by the way, but if that's where you're going, the sooner the better. So I think elective is a very misleading term, as is the term minimally invasive. To me, that sig signifies robot, that they use the robot because you can get the robot uh, to, to get in there through two small incisions. But when you're getting all the way in there to take the prostate out, I don't consider that minor surgery. Nobody considers that minor surgery. It's just a further obfuscation here about what the truth is, trying yeah. to downplay something which clearly was not handled right. Yeah, clearly we're still left with the question of why it was kept secret from the President of the United States. Next one, Doctor. Scientists say they've identified five types of Alzheimer's I mean, so what? Will, will this narrow down the treatment or tell us more about how to fix this thing? You know, in asking the question, you answered it, as usual. 400 uh, different patients were studied. Dutch researchers looked at this, and they found one type of Alzheimer's has more tau protein. That's uh, those tangles that build up. Another, one, another type had different blood flow, that it was involved with the blood flow. Another type had to do with the blood-brain barrier, Stuart, which is something that where you cross from the body into the brain. Brain's trying to protect you from inflammation, but doesn't always succeed. Another type had more of the beta amyloid. The point is that the more types there are, the more you target different type of treatments. What works for one person doesn't work for the other. That's called personalized uh, medicine, and that's the wave of the future. So I think this is a very important it just shows you one pill like like Lakembi isn't, isn't going to be used for everyone. Um, we've got another new study. Here it goes. There are at least 15 factors linked to early onset of dementia. Things like education, alcohol consumption, economic conditions. But, doctor, really, isn't this all about your genes? No, actually... By the way, how come we keep doing dementia on this show? I must tell you, you're the sharpest person over 70 I've ever met, and this is all we talk about. But, but seriously, genetics plays a role. If you have something called apolipoprotein E, you're much more prone towards Alzheimer's. Genetics plays a role, but so does how much you weigh. Do you have diabetes? Do you have hypertension? Do you have heart disease? What's your socioeconomic area? Where are you from? That impacts it, too. And also, here's fascinating, Stuart, hearing. If you don't hear that well, you don't interact that well, your brain, brain tends to atrophy more quickly. How engaged are you in the world, in other people, in playing games, and in hearing what's going on around you? So inflammatory diseases, chronic diseases, weight, and genetics. Actually, doctor, I'd forgotten that we've been talking a lot about dementia recently. That was a joke, OK? <laughs> All right, doctor, we're done. <laughs> no, wait, wait a minute. No, no. Is this one for... Yes, this... I've got another... Is this is for you. This one, for you. OK. Scientists have found 90% of all burgers, steaks, chicken, plant-based foods contain tiny plastic pieces linked to cancer. Now, is this another scare, doctor? Well, it's a scare, except it's also somewhat true. It's something called Ocean Conservancy, Conservancy working with the University of Toronto. They look like a lot of, at a lot of stuff you buy in stores, but the problem here is it's across the board. It's meat, it's chicken nuggets, it's fish, it's tofu. All of them had a lot of plastics in the microscopic amounts, but each person encountering 11,500 different particles a year that end up in your cells and cause inflammation. We don't know what the implications of this are in terms of risk of cancer or fertility issues, but it's something we have to know more about. I'm not afraid of this. I think, though, that the take home here is the more farm to table we do, the better. Uh, you have a farm, Stuart. I'm coming over for dinner. Farm to table is the answer here. Uh, doctor, it is a tree farm. We don't <laughs> produce food, just trees. <laughs> It's a much better investment. Sorry. Dr. Siegel, but you're welcome at my farm any day you like, okay? That's an invitation.